Benzene is another one of those industrial chemicals that has come into widespread use since World War II. Welders and workers in the petrochemical, rubber, and pharmaceutical industries are regularly exposed to it. It's a highly flammable liquid, and for years the danger of benzene explosions has been known. But only recently has it been disclosed that benzene causes cancer. Recently there's been a lot of information coming out uh, through OSHA uh, and a lot of information in the chemical uh, magazines about benzene and its possible cause of leukemia. OSHA has uh, put up a, an emergency standard on benzene uh, and specifically connected benzene uh, and leukemia. Uh, that emergency standard didn't exist in 1965 when George was working in an industrial laboratory in Iowa City where his job required him to use benzene to analyze soil samples. It was about that time that he met his wife, Mary. We met when we were both in high school. I was a junior and um, he was a senior in high school. Then while we were uh, going together, he was working in the lab. I remember him doing these tests, so I was familiar with the kinds of work that he did. You could smell the benzene all through the lab. Uh, it was even to the point where you, it could be smelled in the offices, uh, uh, in our offices of, on the next floor above. It was impossible f for anyone to use that piece of equipment with benzene and not be exposed. It was just so designed that there's going to be exposure. It also, I uh, think, was intrinsically unsafe in terms of the open element at the bottom, which allowed benzene vapors to um, uh, come around underneath it and ignite. I ended up being engulfed in a pillar of benzene, uh, benzene flame uh, from the floor to the ceiling. Uh, at that point, I ran and grabbed a throw rug, which was on the floor of the lab, and wrapped myself up in, in the rug and was able to put out the flame. And uh, I thought I was lucky because I got out of the accident with just uh, singed hairs on my arms and singed eyebrows. Uh, it, uh, I feel now that uh, at the moment I felt uh, lucky, but uh, I now feel there's longer term effects that I wasn't aware, aware of that has caused my current uh, situation having leukemia. It has been known, it's been reported in the literature uh, before that time, all the way back to 1928, that benzene um, was associated with leukemia and that um, I think the, the manufacturers of benzene knew it at the time but um, was not generally known by the public or people such as George and myself. I feel strongly I don't want what's happened to me to happen to someone else. Uh, I think uh, Being aware of the hazards and being protected from them as best possible uh, is, is something that should be taken care of uh, so that you don't cut off a man's life at 33.